Um, how can I expect, what can I expect in my initial consultation? Do I need to bring anything with me? You can expect a, um, oh, that's better. You can expect a, um, oh, 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 I've lost my, I've lost my, lost my comments now. So you can expect, oh, no, right. Um, thank you. Um, you can expect to be, for us to go over stuff with you. Um, and <laughs> Gareth, how are you doing? This is how it's done, Gareth. This is how it's done. Um, you can expect us to go over things with you. Uh, you can expect not to have to make a... The beauty of this, I don't have to make sure I'm looking at the camera because I've got my shades on. You've got, you, can make, you don't have to make any decisions at the consultation. We won't ask you to sign anything or pay anything. Well, we do ask you to pay for the consultation, but not for any... You don't, you know, you don't have to ask you to, for, to sign up for surgery and stuff like that. We don't do any of that. Um, so you go over everything with us and the only consultation you pay for is the first consultation. So we never make you pay for future consultations. Um, <laughs> um, you never have to pay for future consultations. So I always say to people, look, you know, you, we often go through a lot of stuff at the initial consultation, but don't worry about it if it's all too much because you can always come back and we will go over things again. I don't know how to, I'm just trying to find out how to get these sunglasses off. Um, so you don't have to actually make any decisions at the initial consultation. So um, we will also write letters let to your GP, copy you in, so you know what's been said. Um, do you need to bring anything with you? you? Sometimes people bring photos of what they want to look like, which is helpful. Although sometimes you've got to be a bit realistic about it. Sometimes people bring the photo of an 18-year-old glamour model, you know, which may not be appropriate. Um, similarly, if you bring photos of people in clothes, sorry, I don't, if anyone knows how to get... Oh, do I just click? Oh, there it is. Click it again. Okay, can't get it off by clicking again. Um, sorry. Um, have you, what do I put those on? Oh, that's... So if you, oh God, <laughs> how do you get these things off? Right, so if you, they're off, sorry. So if you, I look tired, do I look tired? That's why I put the sunglasses on. Oh God, I, I have had a big weekend actually. It's my brother's week, brother's wedding at the weekend. So, so, um, um, so where, where was I? Yeah, the leaves have stopped, Gemma, don't worry. Um, the other thing you need to bring with you is a person. The person's helpful um, and photos are helpful. Um, the, oh, so yeah, if, you, if you're an 18 year old glamour model might not be helpful. And also the other thing, if the person you sh bring has got clothes on, it's always hard to, you know, ideally no, no if, if it's a, excuse me, it's a breast thing, um, you know, it's hard to tell. People often show posters of people with clothes on, say, are they high profile implants and things. It's, you know, it's really hard to tell. To get a really good impression of someone, you need to look at before and after without clothes on, you know, for the, for the breast. But I know that's not always possible. But yeah, photos are helpful. A, a friend is helpful. A notepad is helpful. Feel free to make notes. People feel worried about that sort of stuff. Feel free to come with a list of notes, a list of questions. I encourage that. I think it's good to come with a all written down because I think people sometimes get a bit embarrassed about that. But I think it's actually a good thing to do um, because it's very easy to forget stuff when you're in there and in the heat of the moment. So pen, pen and paper is good. Notes is good, uh, and someone to bring you with is good to to <clears throat> listen to what's said, so they can remember. You know, two ears are better than one. Well, two sets of two, four ears, four ears are better than one, or two, four ears are better than two. Um, 